family and friends. Today is March 4th, 12.59 in the afternoon, and today we just checked into Endless Summer Surfside. I know we stayed at Rockside before, but this time, this is the first time ever we're staying at Surfside. And today I'm going to show you around the resort and show you what they have to offer. So with that being said, let's get it started. Alright folks, this is at room 2251. I'm actually gonna see if I can come in now. I'm gonna hit the uh, right there. All right. The room is almost like dockside. It's a little bit different. You got the microwave here. You also got the fridge, and then um, <coughs> you got a, a coffee maker, and of course you got an area here where you can put stuff along with the uh, telephone. You got USB ports with plugs. This, I believe, is for the light. It's not. And then you got the little lights where you just pull on the little strings. It's over here, George. And then you got the. Uh, you can show them over here. Oh. Put it and then you got the remote there, nice and wrapped. Not far. Just from right there. It's the. Like all off. So right there. All off. Yep, there you go. Then of course you got these adorable lamps. It's pretty cool. And you got the paintings up there. They look pretty cool also. And of course you got the uh, sinks. You got two sinks. Hey guys. Then of course you got the bathroom this is actually a two bedroom suite you got the other room right here um, this is pretty cool it looks like a reef lamp you got a television then of course you have uh, another bed in here which another room this room actually has a, pri a door for privacy and then you also have a closet in here where you don't have it out there I'm gonna come right out here but yeah this actually um, actually concludes the room tour but then later on I'll show you guys throughout the resort <laughs> so all right, I'll catch up with you guys later. All right, folks, we're coming to have lunch here at the food court of the uh, Surfside. It's pretty cool. Like all the theme in here is like all based off the uh, surfboards. Now here, this is the Beach Cap uh, Beach Break Cafe. I'm gonna see if I can zoom in so you can see like the menu, everything that we have. There's like different stations. There's the pizza section, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the food now. Okay. 
Yep, this is what the burgers look like. Comes with fries. All the different kind of burgers. And then you got the sandwich here. Cafeteria. Grilled cheese. And then here I'm going to show you the dessert. There's donuts. Cupcakes. Peanut butter brownie. Oreo brownie. Muffins, bagels, and here, this is like a pasta area, then you got a cheesecake, this is a piece of cake, that looks pretty good, juices, fruits, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to show you we got the dressings here for the salads we got different kinds of salads then you got sandwiches already made You got the Monte Garzani, you want to barbecue shrimp, and pretty rice, $16. You also have the beignets. And I do the shrimp, barbecue shrimp. Then you got a cheese pizza. And then you got the pizza. Pizza. And then here, the and then here you can scan the code of view or dining and activity guide right here. Of course, like Dockside, they have the grab the grab and go location right here. Where they have like sodas and all that stuff. You can also get liquor on this side. You can get cookies. And over here is the gluten free section. I'm gonna take you out to the actual area to show you how to uh, show you also that they have the refillable souvenir cups like they do over at uh, Dockside. So for one day is like nine dollars, two days twelve. Just to have an idea, those are the prices. You can also get a discount with the uh, cups also in here. It's the dining room area. for the cafe. Yeah, got right, the register right there. Then you got the Coca-Cola free style machine over here with like coffee and all that stuff. All the condiments. Right there. I should walk over here now. I'm going to show you. Over here you can get like hot sauce, barbecue sauce, dipping sauce for your nuggets, chicken tenders. If you want to heat up something in here, you can. You got a toaster for pop tarts. Coca Cola Freestyle machine. Well, I'm gonna go pay now, so I'll catch up with you guys. Now. So here's the kids' pizza. It comes with a garlic knot. That's pepperoni, and of course, my little one likes pepperoni, and then she also got a garlic knot.
Alright, um, I'll show you around real quick. This is the other side of the dining room area. They got booths on this side. They got TVs, surf, the surfboards on the wall, the painting surfboards. And if you actually come back here, this is pretty cool because they look like picnic tables that you can actually sit in to eat when you order your food here in the food court. It is pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is, um, oh, and I like that painting right back there on the wall of the uh, waves, which is pretty cool. And then the parking garage is going to be right there. That's where I'm parked. So what I'm going to do is now, since I already showed you the whole food court area, I'm actually going to have, I'm going to leave now and then I'll give you the rest of the tour here in, uh, later. This is the kids meal cheeseburger. Comes with fries, lettuce, tomato, onions. I got mine with cheese. My wife is the one that uh, got it with uh, plain hamburger. All right, well, I'll catch up with you guys. Okay, I just want to say the we just finished having lunch at the cafe. It was the food was awesome. I love the food. The burgers were great. The pizza was also great. I mean, if you're gonna ever come out here, that's the only uh, restaurant that they have here at the Surfside that they. Um, that they have on property otherwise you can always go across the street to dockside so i'm going to show you where i'm at uh, right this is going to be the shuttle pickup to go to universal studios islands of adventure and city walk surfside is actually surfside is where we're at now right across the street is dockside that's where we stayed at last time And then it looks like for Volcano Bay is right there. When I get over there, I'll show you. So here's the sign that shows you where the lobby's at, the parking garage, and the designated smoking area is at. I'm gonna loop around now, and I'm gonna show you. If you come out from the front of the hotel, you got the resort shuttle, ride chair pickup, and exit. So the exit and all that stuff is going to be right located down that way. Man, right over here. The sign there, if you can see it, might be a little bit hard. But there it says check in Tower 2 and Tower 1. We're in Tower 2. That's where I would recommend you, if you ever stay here, to get Tower 2 because Tower 2 is where it's located where the arcade, fitness center, and all that good stuff in the food court is at. Now, if you want to check in, you're going to have to move all the way around here and you're going to go right into the uh, gate over there. Um, you have to park inside of the uh, gate to check in. I like the design that this building has on the side, which is pretty cool. Now, fun fact, where I'm standing at right now, this used to be the former Wedding Wild location, which right across the street, right over there, you can actually get go into to go to Universal that way. That's actually International Drive, and that street right there is Universal Boulevard. And of course, there's Dockside right there. We've stayed there before. So, I'm going to show you now, I'm going to continue giving you guys a tour once I get inside. Once you come into the entrance here, you have to pick up your park tickets over there. I like those surfboards, it says Surfside on it, it's pretty cool. Then right over here on your left when you come in, you got the check-in desk. And then you also have the rental car, Avis. And then further back over there, you can store your luggage. And then, right over here, is the Universal Studio Store. Like I said in my past videos, where any on-site hotel for Universal has a Universal Studio Store, so if by any chance you forget to pick something up at the parks, you can always come over here and 
buy merchandise over here. They sell the same kind of merchandise like they do over at the parks. Right over there is the Starbucks. That closes at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I like all the stuff they put in here. It's pretty cool. Yeah, man, you can actually... They got seats right here. And here's the surfboard that says Surfside on it. Which is pretty cool. We're actually staying here for three days. We're actually going to go see LL Cool J tomorrow. Tomorrow night at Universal's Mardi Gras. And then you can actually go into the store. Right around that way. When I did my intro earlier. Then over here you can actually take a seat. And um, you can, like if you have a laptop or something, you can come over here. Pick up plugs, USB ports. It's like, a, it's like a working station. And there's the entrance to the Beach Break Cafe. And then... Right over here is Tower 2. Game room, fitness center, sandbar. <laughs> Elevator to the second to the ninth floor. I'm gonna show you all that a little bit later. And now I'm gonna go out there. I'm gonna show you the pool. directly right over there and this used to be part of wet and wild at one point it's a nice view from over here I didn't speak and while I was showing the pool just because of the fact there was a lot of music going on and I didn't want to you know if I had to add music uh, for copyright purposes I didn't want to speak so that way um, you know nobody didn't have to worry about anything so I just figured I'd just show the pool and then just stay, you know quiet for the whole time but it's, it's a real nice hotel it really is I'm really really I'm really happy about it so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on ahead and I'm gonna go from here and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna show you guys the fitness room and the arcade and then from there, uh, that will most likely conclude our tour of the resort. You also have tables right out here where you can actually eat. If you go into the food court to get food, if you don't want to eat in there, you can always come out here and eat. And then my biggest hallway 
Bay where it says Tower 2 where we're located. I'm going to go to the game room first, then fitness center. Where I was just at was a sandbar. So, I'm going to show you some here real quick and then once I get in, <coughs> here's the ATM. So if you need money, you can come right here and get money out. And this is the game room operating hours, 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. So I'm going to grab my room key here and get in. Oh, they got Thai uh, minions. Those are too cute. You got the Transformers game. I like that. Super bikes. And then over here you can get a you can actually put a you can buy a new card to play the games. And the game room prices are thirty credits, is five, sixty, is ten, hundred and forty credits, is twenty, four hundred credits is fifty, and a thousand credits of course is a hundred dollars. This game room was smaller than the one in uh, Dockside, but at least it's pretty interesting though. Oh, I love these. This is one of my favorites. It's the, uh, like a motion ride. So you can pick anything you want from there. You hit, there's like one, two, one through six. And then the seats actually start moving, which is great. You got the Nintendo Cruising Blast. Ah, Halo. And then you got uh, the basketball games, two of them, which is great. This I can never figure out how to, you know, how to win a prize from here. It's hard. This is really hard to get a prize on. I love air hockey. And then, of course, another claw game. You got standing on one side, and then you got flushes on the other. So, now I'm going to go on ahead, and I'm going to make my way over to the fitness center so I can show you guys. All right, my family and friends, this actually concludes my resort tour here at Endless Summer Surfside. I hope everyone enjoys this video. If you are new to this channel, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell for future uploads in this channel, and of course, feel free to comment below. Let me know which one you'd like between Surfside and Dockside. Now, until next time, don't be a stranger in this upside down world. So long, YouTube.